Hey guys, it's been a while, huh? Okay, I, I'm gonna start shooting a whole bunch of videos again. We've been super busy trying to prepare for this uh, really big build. And uh, I'm gonna show you what's going on here today. We're clearing out all this right here. That's gonna get cleared out. We've, we've been pulling trees out of there. Now, we gotta level this out. It needs to be level for our next build. Uh, so he's gonna pull that high spot down. We're about 15 inches higher over there than say right around here. So we got about uh, between between that gate to that tree is about 50, 52 feet. And for this build, the build's gonna be 40 feet long, okay? And we're gonna be building one of our unit boxes and it's gonna be two. We're gonna fasten together two unit boxes. So you're gonna wanna stick around and watch this series. This is gonna be fantastic. Yeah, so after we get this thing cleared out, uh, we're gonna have to pour in uh, some concrete pads and that's got to be level with the ground So we're gonna dig down maybe uh, five and a half inches pour some concrete pads there and then we're gonna call for the delivery of uh, Two shipping containers, which will be our unit boxes. So the reason why we're gonna put those concrete pads down Is because then we're gonna shoot a beam over to the uh, concrete footings and then when the containers come here, we're gonna drop those down on the beam. Then we gotta raise it up slowly and we're gonna hopefully flip those beams. We're, we're gonna make our own glue lamp beams from scratch. And uh, those beams, we're gonna be able to pour transmission fluid, just a little bit, on the top of it. And we should be able to uh, maneuver the containers together. So we'll get, um, we'll get some winches, uh, we'll use a series of jacks and things like that. And We'll start working on them. We got to cut out uh, the sides of them. We got to cut out for windows, doors. It's gonna be a fun build, a very, very fun build. You got to stick around and see how we do this. And uh, oops. so we're gonna be putting um, we're gonna be putting uh, now I forgot my <laughs> train of thought. He almost ran me over. And that out there, that dog right there, that's a puppy. Yep, Puck. Come here, boy. That's Puck. He's, he's, uh, he's gonna be six months in a couple of days, and he weighs like 50, 58 pounds. He's huge. I, I'm, that, that dude there's five years old. He's um, he's 65 pounds. So Pac being six months, he's absolutely bigger than he should be. So, man, he eats a lot of food too. Look at that. What? A, okay. All right. Like I said, I'm gonna. Keep trying to shoot these uh, videos on this build. You're gonna, you're gonna want to stay tuned. Oh, and subscribe. Subscribe and like. This is gonna be an interesting um, build for you to look at. We're getting a special plasma cutter. I was gonna use our large one. I was gonna take it apart. And I thought, you know, why, why should we do it like that? Let's just go buy uh, a small portable plasma cutter. And uh, I may have to buy a brand new compressor uh, for that. Let me just show you over here. This is our CNC plasma cutting table, okay? That over there, that's our Hypertherm 85. And that thing will cut an inch, maybe an inch and a quarter thick, full of steel. And it, it just does it in seconds. Look at it, it cut these circles out. Just amazing. Uh, very high quality product here. Alrighty guys, well, uh, if you haven't hit the like button, please do that. It helps us out. and. Uh, Subscribe, please subscribe because uh, we got some really cool stuff coming up. I got a whole bunch of people wanting some builds and uh, they just got to come up with some money. And once they get us that money, we're going to get started. All right, guys. We'll see you next time.